Chicago rapper Lil J was a rapper who was locked up for seven years. He got out of he got out of prison, and you warned him. You you <clears throat> you came on say cheese, and you was like, you know, Lil J looks like you're going backwards. Um, Lil J he laughed at your advice. Um, and then a month after that, he got locked up for a gun charge, and now the feds picked up the gun charge. Two days ago, they picked up the gun charge, and they're saying he had an automatic switch on the gun, which is a fed. That's that's a that's a fed penalty. That's ten year penalty in in America if you get caught with a switch. A switch gets you ten years. Don't get caught with that. Yeah, yeah. He, um, he, 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 with his record, with that switch, uh, he'll get more close to twenty, and he deserve it. He worked hard to get that. He worked hard to get that. He earned it. So let him wear it with pride. Nigga, go down there and smile. Whoop you some niggas. Yeah, yeah, fuck you a free few prison guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he earned that, my nigga. And I hope they do all these niggas like that. This is what I pray. And I hope that our government will eventually start doing. I hope they will start taking these niggas with these guns and these bullets and treating these niggas just like they treated crack when they first came. They used to give your motherfucking ass nigga 10 years for one dime rock, five years for a nickel rock. They need to start getting these niggas 10 off the back with an 85% mandatory minimum of doing that 10 on top of another five per bullet that's in the gun. So these niggas walk around with these 100 round drums, they need to give five euros per bullet, 10 euros for each gun possession. Second time, nigga, 25 to light. On top of five euros plus each bullet. They did the crack era like that. Crack ain't problems no more. God damn it, crack, yeah, nigga, crack, yeah. So, I, man, homie, I hope they do boosie like that to send a message. They go get boosie. Fans go get boosie with this pistol case. And I hope they do. Because, homie, there has to be some deterrent. If not, nigga, we go wipe us out. What up, world? It's your boy, Lil Mo Films. Welcome to the Chilling Circuit. I just seen an interview on uh, Say Cheese TV with uh, with Charleston White, and uh, it was he was talking about Lil J from Chicago. How he tried to warn him about them guns and shit, and he seen the way he was moving that he was gonna end up back in jail. You know what I'm saying? And he predicted that shit because. They say Lil J got caught with a switch. And uh, like with his record that he already got, uh, they, they probably gonna bam him. He probably gone for a minute. And uh, he had already done seven years. So it's like, he just fucked his life up just toting a gun. You feel me? With a switch on it. And shit, and, and, and my song, uh, me and my nigga Biggie Mo, we got a song called Rico. I say that shit in the verse. I say, don't get caught with that switch, nigga. That's 10 years. You get caught with a switch, that's 10 years, bruh. You know, so... You know what I'm saying? You running around here thinking it's cool just so you can say you got a switch, but you get caught with it, buddy. Hope it was worth it. You feel me? And you ain't even used the motherfucker on nobody. You just toting it around, and you finna get 10 years. And like Charles and White said, he probably finna get a dub. He probably finna get 20 years. So that's, you know, that's that's messed up. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, y'all go check that Rico out, man. Me and Big and Mo, Zaytoven on the beat. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go check that uh, Rico out. It's on my YouTube channel. Just type in Lil Mo Films Rico. Uh, Big and Mo and Lil Mo Films Rico. Uh, Lil Mo Films Big and Mo Rico. Something like that. But yeah, you can type in Lil Mo Fins Rico, it'll pop up. It's a hard ass song too. Zaytoven made the beat. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, y'all keep y'all head on the swivel. Cause uh this junk getting jacked up out here. You know what I'm saying? He did say some stuff about Boosie though. And I don't know about that, man. I feel like he just be wishing bad on Boosie, man, but. I feel what he's saying, though. They got to make some examples out of niggas, man. Uh, we're going wipe to e wipe each other out, for real. Because we ain't doing nothing but killing each other with them. We killing each other with the gun. They going to spin the block, shooting the block up, 
hitting niggas who ain't got nothing to do with what they shooting for. Hitting kids, hitting mamas, hitting grandmamas, granddaddies and shit. You feel me? Like, some got to give. I don't know, I don't know if that's what he's saying. He's saying they need to get them niggas 10 years for the gun and five years for every bullet in the gun. So thank you for a nigga get caught with a hundred round drum, five years of bullet. <laughs> Man, you'll never get out of jail. It's over with. But I think that will make niggas think twice before they start toting them damn guns with all them goddamn bullets and shit, man. Shooting at each other on the, on the regular street and the, on the regular. Pull up in the neighborhood, letting that shit off like that, man. That shit crazy. But um, y'all tell me how y'all feel about it, man. What y'all think, man? Get in the comments. Uh, is Charleston White right? Is he right? Do they need to up the, the charges? on these guns or um is he doing too much y'all let me know what y'all think a little more films the chilling circuit we out boom more films you watching the chilling circuit y'all know what it is a little more films